In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what the two confirmed vehicles so far in the nightclub update are going to look like. And those vehicles are the Ocelot Swinger and the MTL Pounder Custom. Two pretty interesting vehicles The Rockstar have just given us a tiny bit of detail on. So let's start with the Ocelot Swinger first and let's take a look at what we know so far. So Rockstar have given us about a sentence of detail on what this vehicle is going to be like, but it does give us a ton of clues as to what this vehicle is gonna be like, what it's gonna be based off of, and a whole lot more. So that sentence is exclusive liveries on new vehicles like the Ocelot Swinger classic sports car. So Rockstar has revealed the brand, which is Ocelot, so we know it's gonna be Jaguar, the name Swinger, and then it's a sports classic vehicle, and we know it's gonna have exclusive liveries for it, and liveries in general. So because of the name Ocelot Swinger, we're actually able to decipher that that is going to be based off of a Jaguar E-Type. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video today. I've installed two mods, that should give you a pretty cool idea of what this vehicle is gonna look like when it's added into the game. So first and foremost, the Jaguar E-Type is an absolute beautiful car. I mean, just the shape, the design, uh, the curvatures of the vehicle itself. So you know what you're gonna be getting. You're gonna be getting a classic sports car and it's gonna look something similar like this. Now, there are actually two variants of this mod that I have installed today. One of them is a more classical look, which you guys are seeing right here. And then the version we're going to be looking at in a little bit is more of a beefed up modified version. And of course, there are going to be liveries on here. Uh, that's one thing you won't see in this video, but uh, Rockstar will be adding liveries to this car. I can only speculate that one of those liveries is going to be wrapping the entire car in a Union Jack flag. Very similar to what we saw in Austin Powers with his Shaguar. So, I, you know, Rockstar loves pop culture references, and I guarantee you that that will almost be one of them. But I mean, just looking at this car here, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the exhaust. I love the sort of the design of the headlights. Uh, the interior obviously looks really cool. Now, because this is a mod, it will look a little bit different when Rockstar adds their official Ocelot Swinger version into the game. But regardless, this is a really cool vehicle. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is where this vehicle is gonna be priced at. Um, I would assume it would be very similar to the Coquette Classic or the Lampadati Michelli GT, somewhere just under a million dollars or somewhere just over a million dollars. That's typically where we see Rockstar uh, put their sports classic vehicles, so it really would not shock me if it's around the same price, at least roughly, and I'm assuming it'll be available on the Legendary Motorsports site or maybe something like the uh, Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. Although it sounds like this is a pretty fancy car, so I would imagine that Legendary Motorsports is going to be the site for this vehicle. Now, unfortunately, this mod doesn't have a lot of customization that we can do, but hopefully we do get to see a lot of customization on this vehicle when it is added into the game. The Lampadati Michelli GT is a sports classic with some amazing customization, so hopefully they go that route rather than what they did with the Vapid Ellie. Now, I understand the Vapid Ellie is a muscle car, but at the same rate, that car didn't have great customization, but the Lampadati Michelli GT had amazing customization. So that's really what I'm hoping for here, is that they just give a lot of modification options to this vehicle. Because when it's all said and done, it's up to you if you wanna make it as simple or as complex, but at least give us the option to choose. So that's the first variant right there. I kind of went with this nice, deep, dark red color. Let's move on to the second variant right here in which I could see this vehicle looking like. And you guys can see there are a ton of similarities, but there are some differences too, of course, starting with the rims. They're a little bit more of like a muscle car, sports car style rim, which I do actually like. You guys can see the exhaust has been moved to the side just in front of the doors. So you get to see that flame pop out when you're driving. It really does look awesome. And really other than that, that's pretty much about it as far as this variant goes. The reason I wanted to show you this one is just to show you what maybe a little bit more customization could be done. That's something I didn't even talk about earlier, but obviously changing the exhaust, having different bumpers, skirts, options, liveries. Uh, another thing I wanna talk about as well is I think there's actually gonna be two versions of this car. I think there's gonna be a hard top version, and then I think there's going to be a topless or a soft top version. Because if you guys know anything about the E-Type and its references in pop culture, a lot of the time it's actually shown off in a topless variant, sometimes it's shown off in a hard top variant, 
it sort of just depends on the film and the movie and I guess the car itself. But regardless, there's been lots of opportunities where this vehicle has been shown off and I'm really excited about it. Now, I don't get super hyped up all the time for classic cars like this, but this one in particular is amazing. Number one, I'm a huge fan of Jaguar vehicles. Number two, this is obviously based directly off of the car uh, in Austin Powers, which is obviously gonna be really cool. We know Rockstar love their pop culture references. And again, other than that, we know the vehicle is going to have liveries on there. So at least at a minimum, that's pretty good customization. But that's the first vehicle we're gonna be taking a look at today, the Ocelot Swinger Sports Classic vehicle. Let's move on to the next one, and that is the MTL Pounder Custom. So the MTL Pounder Custom, I think, is going to be one of the more interesting vehicles we get in this update because I'm not quite sure how it's going to be used. Rockstar have stated that this is a highly customizable asset for your lucrative business deliveries. So just that sentence alone right there definitely makes this sort of an interesting vehicle to talk about because I could see this go coming in one of two ways. Number one, this comes out as a nightclub supply delivery vehicle. And if that's the case, and like the name suggests, this vehicle will be used to get supplies like booze and other equipment for your nightclub. And since that we will be able to probably sell drugs and fake IDs made with our biker businesses to our guests, instead of selling them to regular buyers, this could also be used to get stuff to our club. So I think there's a chance this vehicle could be maybe a little bit more armored than normal. It might have bulletproof tires, but otherwise I think it's going to look like a more civilian vehicle. In fact, I think it could feature the option to display the name and the logo of your club on the side of the boxes. So as you guys know, the Pounder is basically a big rig with a non-detachable like box truck on the back. And the ones default in game have liveries on the side of them, like big goods or something like that. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to feature your own sort of livery on the side or your own nightclub logo? That could be pretty cool right there. And this truck might also have the ability to load multiple crates at a time, enabling us to transport bigger shipments at a time too. And who knows what else this vehicle could be used for. I've speculated that it might be more of a party truck that looks something like this that is definitely more for just like transporting VIPs, getting them from point A to point B. It still might be slightly armored and have bulletproof tires, et cetera, but it would definitely be more of like the partier style look. So that's the first way I see this vehicle being used. The second way I see this vehicle being used is if Rockstar added it into the game for our overall supply delivery vehicle. So this would become the one vehicle that allows us to transport supplies to and from all of our business. So I would suspect that it would be heavily armored, it would feature window protection, bullet resistant glass, bulletproof tires. I think it would have the option to transport multiple crates, potentially even vehicles at once. And I think it would also allow us to choose a transport vehicle when we are selling stuff from our businesses instead of using the regular sell option that leaves us with a random vehicle. So for example, if you were doing a biker sell mission, you know how it could either give you like garbage trucks or UPS trucks. Instead, you could maybe have the option to deliver with something like this, allowing you to have a safer, potentially even quicker and more secure delivery of your goods. Now, another thing I've thought of with this vehicle, and hopefully this isn't the case, but I'm hoping this isn't a paywall of needing a nightclub to be able to buy it. And then you would have this vehicle to access missions and customizations that you can't launch anywhere else. Essentially like the MOC with the gun running DLC, where you could only do those missions inside of the mobile operation center. So it was basically like a giant paywall for you to be able to enjoy probably the most exciting part of the gun running update. Like you had to buy the MOC if you wanted access to those missions. So I'm hoping that this is not the case. I'm hoping that this is just an optional thing that can make your life a whole lot easier, but I really don't want it to be like super attached to the update like the MOC was. Make it like the Avenger, where it's a very useful tool to the Doomsday High stuff, but it isn't necessarily required. Make the MTL Pounder Custom a very useful tool for the nightclub business, but don't make it something that is required. Unfortunately, due to the way Rockstar have sort of promoted this, it kind of looks like that might be the case. In addition to what they've stated on the Newswire, they said that vehicles like this will be getting exclusive discounts. 
So I imagine that's just like, you know, the regular event weeks we get where they make vehicles 25 or 30 or 40 percent off. I'm assuming that the Pounder Custom will just have the ability to get a little bit of a bonus discount or sale as well. So I don't think anything all that special is going on there as far as that goes, but I do think overall it is going to be a very special truck. And the last thing regarding the Pounder Custom, I saw a lot of people talking about this. They were like, you know, where are we gonna store this vehicle? You know, it's so big. It's actually not that big compared to some of the other vehicles that Rockstar added in the Doomsday Heist. I mean, take a look at this photo right here. It's not any bigger than, uh, you know, the RCV or, you know, any of the other vehicles they added that fit inside the facility. So I think that's where it's going to be stored, to be totally honest with you. Um, unless Rockstar adds some other mega warehouse property that can store vehicles like that, Rockstar are probably just going to make it a facility vehicle only just like they did the Kanjali and some of the other ones from the Doomsday Heist. But anyways, that right there is what I think the Ocelot Swinger and the MTL Pounder Custom is going to be like in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Ocelot Swinger. Do you think it's gonna be awesome? And what do you think about the MTL Pounder Custom? Do you think it's going to be a useful vehicle or do you think it's gonna be one that, you know, isn't all that great when it's all said and done? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.